Hey guys, it's Uncle Doug. We're uh, in the truck. Uh, uh, the supermodel and I running out to uh, the farm. We had uh, three sheep that were pregnant. Two have had babies. You saw those. But the third one was really late. We didn't know because we bought her already pregnant. But she's really late. Had a single ram that was really, really big for her and prolapsed and a whole bunch of her guts came out. We're not sure if it's just placenta and some intestine or if it's the whole uterus. And uh, she won't get let anybody get close to her to uh, do anything about it. So we're heading out to the farm to see what's what and um, check on some other stuff. So I'll try and get footage for you uh, if possible and let you let just see part of regular farm life sometimes. If her uterus prolapsed, there's no fixing that without $1,000 surgery, in which case she's going to freezer camp. And the little ram that she had, um, well, we don't need boys on the farm very much. And uh, it would require two or three weeks of bottle feeding to raise just a really annoying little animal that uh, is going to go to freezer camp anyway. So... Uh, Hard, hard, hard choices, but uh, we'll update you here in a minute. Bye bye. Well, here we are. There's uh, some of our flock over there, the little babies and the two mamas and the four babies from before. We're going to walk over here. Alexander. All right, here we go. Let's see how she's doing. Watch for landmines. Oh, okay, that was Alexander. Chickens, free ranging, fuzzy things. There she is. There's a the little ram coming right to him. Isn't that sweet? There's mom in there. She doesn't like to be trapped. Yeah, she's got a big old pile of stuff. Yeah, I can't get real close and I can't show you, there's not enough light, but she's got a bag of stuff almost dragging the ground. Um, and I don't want to chase her out here, but uh, She's looking a little glazy eyed too. <coughs> little rams, cute as he can be. They come out already ready to run, ready to, oh uh, yeah, maybe you can see there. I'm not sure. Well, we'll leave her alone yeah. and uh, let him get as much colostrum and good, good eating as he can get. So. Come on, let's leave him alone. He's getting a little nursing on there. Her face looks a little discolored. Uh, I don't remember her being so white in the face. But we're just going to leave them alone. And I don't know where the ram went. This is another little shelter that we're about half finished with. I'm gonna throw a tarp over, cover it in dirt, and kind of make them a little uh, mound they can stay in. What? Oh yeah, here's a piece of uh, placenta, looks like. Umbilical. Uh, 
yep. So unlikely that big old wad of stuff's gonna suck back up in there. So she's probably gonna have to go to freezer camp. But we'll have a 70, 80 pounds of mutton. Um, anyway, that's the update for now. There's the funny chickens. Uh, more in a minute. Bye. This farm is falling behind here, so. <laughs> what are we doing, Shane? to see if any of these uh, goats are uh, letting down their milk so they're we think they're mostly all pregnant mm -hmm. oh yeah except the one there with the horns <laughs> yeah mr buckles and well that one and the little boy with horns yeah. hey baby Go grab some uh, some grain or some sunflower seeds or something. Then I won't be able to keep them off me. I'm gonna raise up my tripod here and just set up so you can watch them. There's a goose that thinks it's a duck. This guy over here is a ram. He's in with the goats, so maybe he'll leave the sheep right. alone. Now let's see if any of these goats love me. Do you think we got any of the goats that the sheep got pregnant? Boy, um, only the little ones would that be possible with. I hope not. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mabel, you're my friend now? Dang. Do you want me to hold somebody while you check them? Yep. All right. I'd like to check out right here, Floppy. Milk already dropped. Yeah. Um, I'd like to try waddles out, but she'll be a little difficult because uh, she doesn't have a collar on. So we might have to give her a big hug. Last year, uh, yeah, that's 
camera still rolling yeah and probably should tell the uh, people the other reason why we're looking for milk is we had a sheep prolapse during pregnancy and so we're probably going to have to put her down right yeah i showed them some video of her and the new little new little ram but she's not in too good of shape so but we'll bottle feed the little ram for a while talking to Steve about the petting zoo yeah. and my my sense of it was just maybe one Saturday a month uh, to set up electronet down in the lower pasture and move all these guys into this room over here and then uh, just uh, set up a couple of tables for gravity cages two or three of these guys And uh, it wouldn't be something where they'd have to stay there all the time. But it just us go collect handful of animals and put them in there for the for the petting zoo. If they can't get close to her, nope. yeah, yeah, here they come. Oh, Sir Mr. Buckles, he's got a big old beard and kind of yellow. Got a little pompadour hair on there. He's the boss of the boss of the flock. That's the ram. That's the ram over there. He's not real social. No. That's Mr. Buckles. He's a goat. That's a sheep. That's a that's a ram. But we're just right over there with the beard. The mane, like a lion. come when you call her and you can't bribe her she's not going to get milked
rain, they go up there. Yeah. How'd you get this rock down? <laughs> On accident? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see I got a staircase going up the uh, rock face? That's supposed to be the step before you got to the rock. This is a hole. It doesn't go anywhere, but the sheep go in there and the goats go in there for shelter. When it gets cold, it's just a little cubby. It doesn't really connect to anything. And uh, we had to put fence. You see the yellow handles up there. I don't think maybe you can see them, but we had to put fence up there to keep the goats from climbing up on top of the hill. Look at these, look at these two pretty oh. boys oh. with their oh my gosh, that's bright. cheesy right mustache. Now one goat, everybody's pretty socialized except that one that just won't yeah, come. And exactly. Yep. So how many we got, Shane? How many do you reckon we have when they all have babies? Uh, 40? Yeah. Well, if they all survive. And if we average two. Some will have one, some will have three. What do we do with the boys? Just grow them up for a while and then sell them for meat or sell, yeah. them, sell them on the hoof? or? Yep. I had somebody show up at the farm asking for uh, goat meat. Really? Yeah, if I put it on yeah. Craigslist, that did you quote him a price too high, or it just no, got to come the back only when they're goat ready? That we have that could be meat would be uh, this winter, and uh, Rusty's falling in love with him. So. Oh yeah, great! <laughs> I told him it'll have to be his pet. Chain him up. Yeah. Chain yeah, can't too. can't get that attached. Attached to the uh, the does and Mr. Buckles. Yeah. Yeah. Such a lovable goat. Oh, did you get the ear tags? I got gotcha? you. Yeah. They they supposed to just can ride on them with a sharpie and it'll last yeah. for a long time. Hey, don't eat my tripod. Go away. Don't, don't Mr. Eat. Buckles is a nice goat when he doesn't smell like one. Yeah. <laughs> Nibbling on my tripod. Alright, gotta go.